Tis truly the season of giving, and generosity is rarely in short supply when it comes to the heat. A team for whom the limits of benevolence remain boundless has provided fans with moments of incredible intensity and lasting levity in equal abundance. He's why thinking he about that. Why is he still even here? I don't know. The nightly display of aerial acrobatics between Heat teammates makes difficult the choice on whether it is indeed better to give than receive. Wade on the catch. Off the glass <laughs> for LeBron. Oh, that could be the one. From opening night right through Wednesday night, there have been no shortage of spectacular as fans have been blessed with a fair share of fantastic finishes and stocking stuffers. But the true spirit of the season is measured not in baskets credited to the Heat, but instead by the bundles of joy delivered directly from their heart. The spirit of sacrifice that marks this special time of year, which brings together compassion and community, humbly reminds us that there is a reason for the season. As the new year approaches and our journey takes flight, let us cherish these moments and kick off a good night. Happy Holidays! Winners don't wait for chances. They take them. Come on! You believe that? Tied and thank you too! There's no glory in practice, but without practice, there's no glory. Allen for three! Come on! Oh, baby! It's about who want it and who go out there and get it. George shoots a three. No good. Rebound Anderson, and the Heat win the game. But it was a very, very good win. What type of win we need? It is time for Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports. It is officially a streak again. The Heat have won three in a row. The latest coming in dramatic fashion over the Pacers Wednesday night. Tonight. Kings are in town looking for their first win against the Heat in some time. They come in losers of nine straight against Miami. Was that supposed to be chilly there? The Miami Heat definitely enjoying their time at home, and it's not just the beautiful weather, it's the red-hot basketball. Three straight victories to begin a five-game homestand, and oh, by the way, a 17-game winning streak against teams from the West. Tonight, it's the Sacramento Kings in town. They'll try to end their nine-game losing streak against the Heat. Game number 26 this season, Heat looking for win number 20, and we always hope you enjoy every bounce and basket right along with us. Miami Heat basketball on Zone Sports, proudly presented by AT&T U-verse. And as the Heat take the court, we say good evening to the Heat Nation. What a great way to begin a holiday weekend, pull up a chair, and enjoy some world championship Miami Heat NBA basketball. First court. Must be jammed because Jelly uh, don't shake like that. Look at that right there. Eight assists for LeBron James in this game. Then Thompson. Oh, bringing him back in the post. He had five of six in this one. Try to give me some Bosch love. That man was solid early. He was really good early. Stepping out the big fella. Cousins a little too late getting out to kill him with that mid-range, Jimmy. And then he's going to go inside right here. Wade going to find him. Yeah, get to see. You feed the big man if you don't run the floor. Especially the way he's rebounding, Jack's doing a much better job on the glass as of late. Finished with eight boards. Nice work. Thompson again, back in our highlight early. He was perfect from the floor. He likes that little flipper right there. I like that. I need a Hennessy moment of the day, and I'm going to get it from LeBron James. Oh, oh, no. You better eat it. Ooh. Ferocious. Oh. That's not the Macklemore who was performing in this arena, was it, Bird? Nope. Another dude. More dunking. Ray Allen, hello. 1999, hello. <laughs> that is nice work. Uh, it's a dunk fest, by the way. LeBron James, I need two hands. Cram it in the boot. He hit 8 of 11. That is a hot pursuit evening. And look, young Isaiah Thomas, there's only three he hit in the game. One for six, not high percentage. See how I, you see what I did there? I did. Contrasted. But it did give him the lead. We were up three. To the second quarter. Look at this dunker. He won't stop. First Anderson. And then, to make it a one-point game, the race not stopping. Pick up the ball. He just goes right down the gut. And we keep the run going. It was a 12-0 run. Here comes Dwayne Way. Laying it in right there. And then Rudy Gage is going to sneak in the highlight a couple times because he was fancy. Okay. But he alley-oop action right there with his new ball club. 
Seven of 13 went in for him. Uh, I'm going to go to the young Mattenmore kid because we, we, his feelings were hurt earlier, so I think we should put him <laughs> in the highlight right there. 54 53 Miami. And then passion, Sacramento taking the lead on the three ball right there. But then here comes LeBron James. Off the steel, Cole, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, he could have gone there when it happened himself, yeah. but you know, thank you. Rudy Gay wants back in the highlight. Okay, you're done. Thank you, man. Nice. I need some action, crossover, baseline. Mm -hmm. we'll call that an ankle snapper, right to left, frozen. 11 years of the left, ba left baseline. You'd think, you'd think he would be in the tank, right? Boss, a little and one basketball. He was efficient. 11 of 16 went in for him. 46 points in the paint in the first half alone. We told you about the 70. Let's go to the third quarter. Thompson. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 11 points. Those were two biggies right there. And then slashing. Not my cousin, but your cousin. 72-71 after this McLemore three. Miami a one-point lead. And then things start moving in another direction. Breakaway activity. LeBron James. And one basket. And if Ray is going to dunk, then Dwayne should be able to shoot threes. Nice ball movement. Trifecta, you betcha. Back to the high percentage stuff. LeBron James. Eight assists. I told you about it, right? There's another one with Chris Boss right here. Then the all oh, my sons move of the game. Pick and roll, yummy goodness. That is just a picture. That is good execution on the screen and the quick dive by Boss. I like the way he's getting to the bucket, Jax. Nothing soft by Boss tonight. Going inside hard with the finish. That was called for on Twitter. Batty eight corner three from Alice is three minutes. Good to have him back in there. Cousins reverse it for me. He had 25 points at that point. I believe 27 on the night. 98-82 Miami. Fourth quarter. Let's bring it on home. Bus drivers are already started. <laughs> if you could taste this, it'd be three. Uh, uh, Ten. Miami Heat threes in this one. Wade, two of three from out there. Now the Cleveland Clinic team play of the game. Wade hustling. And then Wade slashing. Allen finding. That's just beautiful. Get everybody involved. And Bird even caught it out of the rim right there. Somebody just asked me to start the bus. The bus got started in the middle of the third quarter. <laughs> all right, they were just preserving some ethanol. That's all. Get the Phantom Cat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Phantom Cat. We got Exmo. I'll give you Exmo on that one. <laughs> Insurance game summary. Really, really good stuff for the Miami Heat right there. Chris Bosch leading the way. Wonderful 25 and 8 performance. 22 because the ball's snapping. Very little dribbling. Everyone's sharing it. And when you move the ball like this, the defense has to react. You got guys like LeBron that can put it on the money. And it led to a lot of positive things. They had five players with five or more assists. So it was hard to key on any one guy. Uh, be, as a distributor, so so many different people contributing, and they get a mm. season high points in the paint as a result. Just high percentage shots, 70 points in the paint of their 122. That's tremendous. You get the ball inside and score in the paint, it compacts the defense. Then you can kick it out and you get open shots beyond the arc, and the Heat have plenty of shooters. They're 47 and 1 now when they score double figure shots beyond the arc. And that spreads the defense out. Battier had three threes. Wade and Allen each had two. And it was just great to see them being able to get back into that rhythm, Jackson, knocking down that three ball, really, really stretching the floor. And it makes everything so much easier when you have room to operate. Did a much better job of getting their hands in the passing lanes, of communicating on the rotations, uh, and really, really took advantage of, of those turnovers. They forced 20 turnovers overall. They scored 32 points off those turnovers. That stat alone is hard to come back from. And that series in the third quarter, Fredette had a couple turnovers in the row. That was a real momentum shift in the game where the Heat were able to get themselves uh, back ahead of Sacramento, who was a really comfortable offensive rhythm. The defense always is the catalyst for Miami. It puts them in a situation where they get numbers. They're a three on two, they're two on one, and they get so many open lanes. They're able to really use their athleticism out on the break. Those defensive possessions get Miami 22 fast breaks, uh, points only six for Sacramento. So, so many good things coming from the defense. Look at some Shane Battier video, Coach. Yeah, there he is. Good job in the truck. Shane was not shooting the ball well, but Coach Spolster has a lot of confidence in him, as does his teammates, as, it, as he does in himself.
And tonight he was three for seven from downtown. He had the nine points. He had the four uh, 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 rebounds. He drew a couple of charges. And he was a wonderful night. 18 point performance in 26 minutes. Had a couple threes in this one, but we know about those. I, I just try. Come on. Come on. Uh -uh. Woo -hoo. I mean, did it just open up like a head scene? I mean, it did, but if you think about this team, last year when we played them, uh, we scored 141 points. So it did, you know, a couple lanes open up for me, and I definitely have taken. But, you know, in shooting rounds, I really have been working on, you know, getting that explosive in the back because it does take a lot of pressure off me. But he's more aggressive scoring, and that's the way this game started out. Bosch getting 12 first quarter points and setting a tempo. Well, that's what he's been doing the last four games, being more assertive to get off the, the block as the game starts. You know, he, he went through a little low there for a while and starting to wonder why those why he wasn't playing real well. But he is so smart. He's so confident in himself. He has so many skills that he could just uh, mentally get more into the game and turn it around. It helped him when he played with Birdman the other night. He got out and, into the fast break a lot more after the rebound was made. And uh, tonight you see the uh, the two centers starting the game. And just good stats for both guys. Eric, thank you very much. I thought we were going to see like a ABA style game tonight. You guys came out with a little extra defense though in the second half. What did you want to do to shut them down? Yeah, we had to, we had to play defense. Uh, you know, it was, uh... <laughs> we promised that we were going to keep going regardless of what these two... I tried. I tried. They hit me with something. They're getting applause for the wheelbarrow. Now, yeah, this is going to stop. Again? Defense, <laughs> second half, action. Yeah, we, uh, we, we didn't do a very good job of being up in the first half. I think we understood that. Uh, we were a little bit mad at ourselves, but we knew if we put uh, some defensive effort into the game in the second half, we were going to have a game like we had. You and Dwayne and LeBron have elevated your, I don't know if it's intensity or just the way you guys are injecting yourselves into games offensively. Tonight, you shoot nearly 70%. What is happening with the flow of the offense that's getting to you all? Well, I think we're uh, picking and choosing our spots pretty good right now. Uh, we're doing a really good job of seeing where we can be aggressive and it's working out so we can just continue to pick and choose our spots keep moving the ball like normal and uh, things will work out what are you going to do now they just keep coming with these new and improved that's what you do bring in your beautiful daughter there's no better bo video bomb than that no better than that that's the best one so far happy holidays buddy. happy holidays say merry christmas merry christmas ah. That's the way you do it when daddy does it big right before the holiday. But before that beautiful family, bomb by Bosch. Oh my goodness. These are two adult men, highly compensated employees, and they're having a great time. And that's what happens when you keep on winning. Four in a row. Another great one will be on our television show, Ray Allen. Elevating like it's 1999. Stay right there. We're coming back. He win. It's four in a row. 22 for the Miami Heat. 103. Smiley face. Our next telecast comes your way Monday night when the Heat take on the Hawks. 7.30. Heat live. Delivered by Papa John. Starts the night off at 7. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports. Your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For Eric Reed, the coach Tony Fiorentino, as well as Kristen Hewitt, Joanne Gomez, and John Crotty. Mr. Perth. I am merely Jason Jackson. Happy holidays. Final take.